Ozark Traditions TV. The Ozarks, a land with a rich heritage of hunting and fishing. Join the Traditions team as they keep those old ways alive, and to the next generation, they'll be passing them down. Singing, welcome back, my friend. As I look around at nature's majesty, I thank God that I live in this land of the free. Those are traditions in the great outdoors, hunting with my family. Who could ask for more? Planting seeds of passion like those. Those are traditions in the great outdoors. Ozark Traditions TV is brought to you by Cowtown USA, Friendly Firearms, One-Eyed Jack Feeds, grow them to their max with One-Eyed Jacks, Missouri Farm Bureau, Radians Safety Apparel, and protect the harvest. Welcome to Ozark Traditions TV. On this week's show, me and Todd decided to jump in the Legend SS, run down to the river, and catch the last of the crappie spawn. Hey guys, thanks for watching Ozark Traditions TV. Uh, this evening we are on the lower end of the Niangua River. We're crappie fishing. This is this is what they call Lake Niangua. We do a lot of crappie fishing this down here this time of year. Catch a lot of big crappie. Um, I know that you think you're going back to your kitty days, but we use a cork. These crappie get up on the uh, banks up here and they spawn, the males will come up and these are some big males up here. And we'll go on up later to some stumps and they get on those stumps and spawn also. About three foot of water, down here they spawn right on the bank just like in the in the other lakes. These, these crappie are real finicky. Uh, they'll bite today and they won't bite for two days. Um, nothing you can do to make them bite. So stay with us. We're gonna see if we can catch some big slab crappie. He kind of hung around everything here. This, I think this is, is a shell cracker here. Yep. That's a shellcracker. She's long, kind of resembles a perch, a bluegear, a little bit different color. They've got this long fin right there, and they are actually just about as good eating. Almost as a crappie. Whatever. Now Todd don't think so. Whatever. Todd's premium as a suckers. Todd's. You know, I cleaned them the other day, Todd, and I couldn't tell the difference between their fillets and the crappie mm -hmm. fillets. We'll be right back with more Ozark Traditions TV after these messages. 
At Friendly Firearms, 204 West 2nd Street, downtown Lebanon, we carry pistols, revolvers, shotguns, and rifles, as well as a full line of scopes and ammunition. We also have ammo cans, MREs, military boots, and clothing. Friendly Firearms offers a 60-day layaway on all guns, same as cash. We also handle gun transfers, so come see us at Friendly Firearms. Buy guns, sell guns, trade guns, and win guns. 204 West 2nd Street, downtown Lebanon, inside the Army Surplus. And like us on Facebook. At Graven Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram, we have the vehicle to help you navigate the highways, byways, back roads, and trails. Take the kids to the game in a town and country van or your hunting buddies to their deer stand in a Ram truck. We have the right vehicle to get you there. When you buy from Graven Chrysler, you become part of our family, and we love our family. Graven Chrysler in Lebanon, Missouri, we're the guys in the white hats. I'll tell you another thing, and this is actually a fact, kind of in uh, almost all the rivers in Missouri, if you're crappie fishing them, these, these fish don't hold up on structure like they do in the lakes. They're looking more for grass and uh, th those grass edges, they really like to, you just don't catch a whole lot. You don't catch a whole lot on, uh, on structure. Water, 74 degrees. So it's definitely plenty warm. That's not an issue. Now let's zoom back down here and we'll hit these. I got, look, there's three stumps we call them, call them the triplets. And there's three stumps right down here. Normally are pretty good producers. For some reason, they really like them. There was a bite. Yeah, damn it. He just there he goes. Okay. Oh, that's a oh, that's a good one. It may be a bass, but it's a good fish. Oh, it's a big fish. This is a crappie. I'm just gonna have to follow him. Is that him way out there? I think so. I think it's gonna be just a giant bass. There's a net. I can't help you. Tell you what, it may not be our what we're after. But when you hook into one, it actually makes it kind of fun. Hello, Mr. Bass. Three pounds. Goodbye, Mr. Bass. We haven't had a whole lot of luck. We've, we've caught a few on them this year, but just it hasn't been like it normally is. So we're going to give these dudes a shot and see if we can catch a few. We'll hit the best stumps first. And then if we, uh, if we don't do any good, we'll head back down the river. Hey folks, uh, we come up to the stumps now. I'm telling you, if you ever want a boat, this Legend SS is the boat to have. I'm telling you why, it's the smoothest riding boat. We came up through there and it was smooth. As, I mean, we just like riding on glass. No, no cavitation, nothing. We've got a 150 horse jet on here and I'm telling you what, it runs perfect. And we just come through 
probably one of the nastiest stump fields that you'll ever find in a river. We never touched one of them. We're riding so high in the water that, I mean, we just, we just don't touch them. This Legend SS is the cat's meow. Hi guys, this is Rick Damon with Cowtown USA in Cuba, Missouri with the Legend SS boat, the best built river boat that ever drew a breath. Powered by Evergreen. Both of these are legendary pieces of equipment that'll take you up the river, down the river with complete peace of mind. If you'll take the time to come here and let me show you how this river boat is built, you'll see it is the best built boat. If, if, you, if, I, if I'm misleading you in any way, I'll buy you gas for coming. I won't waste your time and I, and I hope you won't waste mine. Give us a call, Rick Damon at Cowtown USA at 573-885-6300. We'll be right back with more Ozark Traditions TV after a word from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Dan. This is Clay. And Clay, you're a farmer, I know. But I understand you don't have to be a farmer to get Farm Bureau insurance. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's great news. Why are you so sad? Oh, I think one of their colts is coming down with a cold. Really? What makes you say that? He's a little horse. <laughs> Your Missouri Farm Bureau agent in Laclede County is Jim Anthony. Give Jim a call at 417-532-3750. Have you driven a new Ram truck lately? It's nice enough to take Mama to church on Sunday and rugged enough to take your hunting buddies to their deer stand. When you buy a car, van, jeep, or truck from Graven Chrysler, you become part of our family, and we love our family. Check out our new and used vehicles at 1755 West Elm in Lebanon. Graven Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. We are the guys in the white hats. You, you can't fish this very easily just by casting and reeling. You've got to keep that, that jig up uh, off the bottom. Otherwise, you just get completely covered in moss everything else. This is a horrible lake for moss. Pretty good after we got that. There's one right there. That's a crappie. Is it or a bass? It's a crappie. It's a crappie. Yeah, he's not a monster. But I tell you what, considering what we've had today, a teenage crappie. I mean. Playing too much. It's a crappie. We haven't caught a whole lot of them. Save for a couple more. Not even really, mate. That right there is kind of caught. 
Yeah, we ain't caught a lot of crappie. What do we got? Five or six? Four or five? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That ain't really what it's all about. I mean, for me. Now, Todd's a little different. Todd likes to catch crappie. I'm hungry. Todd likes to eat crappie. I'm hungry. Todd likes cold <clears throat> crappie the Todd next day. Todd likes cold crappie. I'll tell you a story. Todd laughed at me. Because I ate cold crappie for breakfast. But he was putting on milk and sugar and eating it like no. cereal. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I like cold crappie for breakfast. I like cold crappie for a midnight snack, and I don't miss very many midnight snacks. Really? You couldn't tell that by my physique. I don't think you've missed the one. Yeah. No, no. Just when I was sick, maybe. I think you still ate. I may have. I don't remember. I was probably busy eating. That ain't Hold good. on, hold on, folks. Yeah, hold on. When you hear it, when you hear it cutting wind. right back after these messages with this week's There Was. Animals are a vital part of our American tradition. They're our first friends and lifelong companions. They feed our families and provide us a livelihood. They entertain us, teach us, and challenge us. But those traditions may soon come to an end. Extreme animal rights groups are assaulting our way of life, attacking farmers, banning circuses, outlawing hunting, even trying to stop pet ownership. It's time to fight back. Visit protecttheharvest.com today and see how you can help us preserve the traditional America we love. Those are traditions in the great outdoors. Hunting with my family. Who could ask for more? Planting seeds of passion like those who've gone before. Those are traditions in the great outdoors. Those are traditions in the great outdoors. So here's what we're hoping for. It's that crappie that just hit that takes it again. Um, here's what we're hoping for that these crappie do like they do on the Lake of the Ozarks. And right about dark, just before dark, start moving up to the bank. We'll see. There was something. What is that? Well, one thing about it, fish here the question is how small is that perch you've got well yeah but the question of do these crappie bite it in the evening like they do in the lake Doesn't do they move back to. on toward onto the onto the bank in the a minute too Another 10, 11 inch crop, about 10 inch crappie. What's that mean? Maybe they're moving up? Little bass? Another 10 or 11 inch perch? Bass. Bass! I was tearing across and whelps you up. I already did that earlier. I think there was a crappie under that cast too. Bad part. You know, you ever get that feeling? I don't know. Walk easy. If you get to them skirts, give me another skirt. What kind do you want? It's whatever I got there, cause this one's wore out. I've cut so many perch off of it. It won't stay up. You 
know how I don't like it when my skirt won't stay up. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute, this is different. Then what? You give me the junkie lure. I'm using the same one. Okay. Let's go back over here and let's just see. Well, if I can do this, then. Well, it's getting late and uh, we haven't caught a lot of fish, but we've caught a few. Uh, we've had a good time out here. Um, we, we run out of light. Fish quit biting me. Like I said, we was catching a few right up till it started getting dark when we thought we was gonna maybe get some fish caught. But apparently that's not the case here. So now we know. We know this is more of a morning spot. So uh, really thank you for uh, tuning in with us. Um, hope we told you some things. Uh, hope hope you heard some th learned some things you didn't know before, or maybe maybe you uh, you already knew it. So, but we had a good time doing it. So, uh, from all of us at Ozark Traditions TV, thanks for watching. On this week's there I was, we have Scott Jones from Marshfield, Missouri. There I was, it was a late afternoon down in South Texas, and uh, I've been looking for uh, good deer. I've gotten a couple deer, but uh, I'm looking for a real nice deer. And uh, started seeing this buck on the trail cam, and wow, uh, really nice deer. And this is him, and uh, hunted for him for about, I have about two years, and uh, first year, um, seen him only once out in the deer blind and uh right was about fixing to get a shot out on him uh took off the uh the season ended I, I didn't end up getting him uh we found one of his sheds later on and uh, i could tell it was him but uh next season came, came around and uh it took me quite a while for me to get him um ended up shooting a couple other deer but uh he finally came out one day, I was about to give up up on him, and uh, he walked out, and there he was, and I got him. Uh, he's a basic eight point. Um, what's real unique about him is his uh, brow tines, real long. Uh, I entered him into the contest down there in Texas and uh, for low fence eight point. Um, got first place, and won a buckle and some jackets off of him, and uh, Looking forward to my next buck. Scott, that's a real nice South Texas buck. Thanks for sharing him with us. If you get the opportunity, Swing over to our YouTube channel and check out our previous episodes. And while you're on the computer, jump over to our Facebook and give us a like. And don't forget to share us with your friends. From all of us at Ozark Traditions TV, thanks for watching. With my family, who could ask for more? Planting seeds of passion like those who've gone before. Those are traditions in the great outdoors. Wandering down a riverbank or walking in a field. Hand in hand with my kid, it's not about the kill. Those are traditions in the great outdoors. Hunting with my family, who could ask for more? Planting seeds of like those who've gone before Those are traditions in the great outdoors Those are traditions in the great outdoors